Okay, so today I'm going to take this political compass test, and the reason I'm going to do this is because I've heard people say that it's a good test and it places you accurately in the political spectrum. So I wanted to see how that works out, and um, I know I'm going to be placed far to the right, so I just wanted to see where exactly, or I should be placed far to the right, so I want to see if it's accurate enough to gauge my beliefs. Okay, so the first question, if economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corporations. Um, this one's kind of strange because obviously I'm very opposed to globalism anyway, so that's why it's probably saying inevitable because there's a lot of people that are opposed to it, but I'm gonna have to say yes because while I wouldn't force it to benefit some anyone, it seems like that would be the best action because I don't really like transnational corporations anyway. Not because I think they exploit people, but because they divert resources from the Western world to help out third worlders. So, but yes, yeah, so I'll say I agree. I'd always support my country whether it was right or wrong. No, I strongly disagree with that. I'm a nationalist, but I'm not a patriot. Patriotism is worshipping a flag or a piece of land or the documents of your country. Nationalism is worshipping or is respecting the people and having a connection with the people of your nation. So no, I wouldn't support, always support my country. I didn't support them in things like Iraq war and Vietnam, but I don't. I didn't support those, so no, obviously not. No one chooses his or her birth, country of birth, so it's foolish to be proud of it. Well, country is usually the 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 nation or the state is usually tied to the nation to form the nation state. So usually, when you think of country, you just think of ethnicity. Other than places like the U.S., where we've been subverted into being a melting pot, so. I would say that no, I disagree with that. If, if you're from Scotland, or if you're from Ireland or Italy, then you should be proud of that if you like those people. So, so yeah. Our race has many superior qualities compared with other races. Yes, I strongly agree with that. Different races have different traits, obviously. And some of them are superior, like IQ for us, Maybe athletic ability for blacks were taller than other races compared to like Asians and stuff. So yes, obviously we do have many superior qualities. I don't really think that's a controversial statement. Anyone can recognize that some races have con have better traits. It's just people get really freaked out when it comes to IQ or something. But yes, I strongly agree with that. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Well, I don't think that this is one where there's a concrete answer. Usually, it is true, but not always, so I'm gonna say I agree for now. Military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. Yes, I do agree, because if there's a bad treaty or a bad international law, then obviously violating it is, is as just as violating any other unjust law. So yes, I strongly agree. There is now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. Yes, I strongly agree with that. I don't have a problem with entertainment also having information in it, but the problem is who's providing that information and is it biased in the entertainment, and is it influencing people in negative ways, and absolutely, I think that is true. Okay, next page. People are ultimately divided more by class than nationality. No, I strongly disagree with that. I would feel way more... This is just obviously some Marxist... This is the Marxist talking point, basically, but... Yeah, no. I would feel a lot more connected to someone in my country that was rich compared to somebody from Africa, no matter their social status anyway. So, yeah. 
because we know that ethnicity and race, you're more genetically similar to them, and it's, it's like an extended family, so yeah, and you get along better with people you're more genetically similar to, so no, that makes no sense. Controlling inflation is more important than controlling employment, unemployment. Um, yes, I would strongly agree with that, because I know why this is on here, it's going towards, like, the, th like, some, like, it's kind of in the same vein as, like, free trade, like, some people say free trade benefits most people, but then other people say, oh, well, all these people are gonna lose their jobs, so we should not have free trade. It's kind of like that, but this one's a little bit different, because... While I agree that the people, that no one should be left behind, usually. If you have inflation, then it's gonna fuck over everybody, not just a s select few people, so, no. Yeah, so, it's absolute. so inflation is absolutely more important than unemployment, even though they're both important, obviously. Because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment, they require regulation. Um, well, I believe in law, but I don't necessarily believe in regulation, and I think there is a difference between rules and regulations, so no, I'm gonna say I disagree, I don't want people to be like burning down, or just chopping through forests and destroying everything, but at the same time, or polluting rivers or whatever, but I think at the same time it's done, it's handled best by a court system, not by laws or not by regulations so no i disagree with that even though i don't want the environment destroyed honestly from each according to his ability to each according to his need is a fundamental good idea no that's just marxist propaganda it's a sad reflection on our society that something as basic as drinking water is now bottled branded consumer product no i strongly disagree with that because if it's not a private company doing it, then someone's going to be doing it. And I trust a private company a lot more than I do a government centrally planned agency to do it. So, because people are going to have to get their water one way or the other. So, you might as well let companies compete in the free market to determine who gets the who, who makes the best product. Land shouldn't be a commodity to be bought and sold. No, obviously I disagree with that. Private property is one of the foundations of any stable society and the foundation of any sane economic society. It's a necessity, so no, obviously I don't agree with that. It is regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to society. Yes, I would agree with that. Globalist bankers and people who commit usury Yes, I agree that it is a shame that they make their money, especially government officials and people like that who run these endless bureaucracies. Yes, I absolutely agree with that. In the free market, people are going to be making their money by by basically providing a service, while that isn't true of government agencies and things like the Federal Reserve. So yes, I strongly agree. Protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. And yes, I do agree with this strongly too. And the reason is that you're never going to have the first world being able to compete with the hiring of the third world. And now that's not necessarily a problem, um, but it is a problem when it's such a drastic difference and, and especially when much of the difference is made up by all the U.S.'s and other Western countries' rules and regulations, while these third world countries have no rules and regulations. It's basically slavery. No, I'm not saying that rules and regulations are slavery, but they pretty much have legal slavery in these countries, and there's no way a U.S. worker is going to be able to compete with someone in Africa making 10 cents an hour or whatever. So, yes, I do agree with that. The only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver a profit to its shareholders. Yes, I do agree with that, but I don't want to take that to the extreme, because I agree that if that's what they're signing a contract for, that's what 
their primary motivation should be, but I don't agree that that's all that they should be doing. Like, you shouldn't be polluting a river, trying to do whatever shady things you can just to turn a profit, even if you have a contract, you still have to follow the laws of civilized society. The rich are taxed too, uh, the rich are too highly taxed. Yes, I agree with that. A corporate tax, the corporate tax rates are way too high for one, which are really a tax on consumers, but they, but it's supposed to be a tax on the rich. And then income taxes shouldn't be nearly as high as they are. And I don't know if I like the idea of any income tax anyway. So yes, the rich are taxed too highly along with everyone else, basically. Other than minorities who are huge tax net losses on society. So yeah. Those with the ability to pay should have the right to a higher standard of medical care. Yes, absolutely. I don't mind the idea of a government healthcare system if it's like a two-tiered thing where you have a like a, ba a basic minimum government healthcare package and then you have a free market where people can purchase whatever they want if they have more money. I don't necessarily mind that. I don't think it's the worst idea, but yes, if you have more money, you should absolutely be able to spend it however you want, as lo especially something on medical care, which is just to benefit your health. That's not a problem. Government should penalize businesses that mislead the public. Yes, I strongly agree with this. And this is getting into the topic of free speech versus correct speech. And on that issue, I favor correct speech, not free speech. And especially when it comes to businesses and corporations and governments and things like that, you can't have these agencies be able to do, and these companies be able to do whatever they want and mislead so many people. And it shouldn't just be small fines either if they're caught to be lying about something or not telling the facts about it. It should be a severe fine, like the death penalty. Because think about it, if someone's, someone goes around spreading propaganda about how open borders are good for the U.S. or something ridiculous like that, and it influences like 50 million people, and then half of those go vote for an open border candidate, then they're basically, that propaganda is basically destroying the U.S. just by telling these incorrect facts. So yeah, you sh if you if you're purposely doing something like that, orchestrating or something like that, you probably should be hung at the gallows or swung on a tree or nailed to a cross and burnt or whatever. You should be killed for that because that's a serious. That's pretty much the worst crime you can imagine. It's spreading propaganda to in to negatively influence the country. So. A genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of predatory multinationals to create monopolies. No, I d strongly disagree with that. This might be a little bit autistic, but I'm still I still have all the red pills from my libertarian days, and I know enough to realize that the government is what creates the monopolies, not the free market. A free market without government intervention is basically just whoever is providing the best services and eventually someone's going to come along and provide a better service than them. So a monopoly in the free market isn't really a thing. The free of the market, the free of the people. Yes, I, sh I, I agree with that, but I don't really, I strongly agree with that actually, but I don't really care about freedom anymore. That's not my concern. My concern is what's best for society. And what's best for the pe for the nation state, not what's best. Well, really, what's best for the nation, because the state is just a supplement to the nation. But yeah, so I don't care about the freedom aspect of it. But technically, they are free, and I'm just interpreting this to mean the free market is good, which I agree with, because it produces all optimal outcomes for society. Next page. Abortion, when the woman's life is not threatened, should always be legal. Illegal. Well, this is a tough question because I'm a Catholic and I'm very anti-abortion. But there are 
circumstances, especially in the modern world, where I would have to say, no, I disagree with that, because if someone, if some, well, for one, minorities, when they breed, they're pretty, they're, they shouldn't be here in the first place, and it's basically an invasion for them to reproduce. So, they're pretty much a threat to our society, so I realize that how, how negatively ending abortion right now would affect the U.S. demographics and how Hispanics and blacks are the ones that have most of the abortions, in their, or at least proportionality-wise. And for rape, I don't think that abortion should be illegal in rape because you're supposed to punish the person who does a crime and the rapist is the only one doing the crime here. Usually you can say, well, the mother is the one that had the ba or the mother's actions and the father's actions, the ones that led to the creation of the baby into their pro in, into her body and they have no right to remove it or kill it because they invited it in. But in the case of rape, it wasn't invited in it was forced upon the mother, so no, I don't think that during rape you should have to have the kid, and I also don't think during major deformities where the kid is worse off being born that you should have to have it. And I am very strongly anti-abortion, but not to the degree that this is, maybe it's just, maybe I should press I agree, but because I know that I'm way more pro-life than most people, but just the way it's phrased. Some of these questions are phrased pretty weird, but all authority should be questioned. Yes, I agree that all authority should be questioned, but I feel like I'm gonna, like, yes, I agree with this statement, but I think the problem with it is that it's gonna put me way further to the left than I should be because anti-authoritarian things is like a leftist or libertarian thing. I don't have a problem with authority, I love authority, but it should be questioned if it's not a good authority. Like the current US government, or at least for the past eight years before Trump, yes, it should have been questioned, but if it's, like if you're questioning it and you're coming to the right conclu that to the conclusion that it's good, then no, it shouldn't be questioned anymore after that. And I feel like that's what this is getting at, but I'll just leave it at strongly agree. An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. Um, well, I think that what this is getting at is payback, and yes, I do believe in payback, but I have to press disagree here because I don't believe that everything has to be in proportion. For instance, um, if someone goes and robs a house, well, technically they haven't murdered anyone, but they've stolen a bunch of goods, and they vandalized a property or whatever. Well, I, th I still think that they should be getting the death penalty for stuff like that. For most major crime, people should be getting the death penalty. So I don't necessarily agree that it always has to be in proportion. So that's why I'm going to have to say I disagree here. Taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any theaters or museums that cannot survive on a commercial basis. Yes, I agree. Because... If, a, if something is as good as people say, or it's worthwhile, then it should be able to generate enough consumer demand that it can stay in business at the very least. So yes, I would say agree. And especially with all the donations and stuff, there's, there's no reason you should have to prop up garbage museums, especially like the Holocaust Museum and stuff like that. School should not make classroom attendance compulsory. Um, I'm gonna have to say I agree with that, but under very specific circumstances, under in a perfect world, the classes would be good enough that you wouldn't have to skip them or whatever, but in the current education system, I know all, all about this, some of the classes are way too easy, and it's just a pain to have to be there when they just talk about the same stuff all the time. When you, when you could still get a 95 or whatever for if you skipped a couple times. So I, I agree that 
what I think is that you should only have to do what you have to do to get a grade that's passing. So that's basically it for that one. But if there was a system that was good enough to where it challenged every student, then I would say I disagree with that and that you should have to attend. All people have their rights, but it's better for all of us that different sorts of people keep their own kind. Yes, I would agree with that. <coughs> Diversity of any kind is a problem. Diversity of ideas causes conflict. Diversity of race and religion causes conflict. Any kind of diversity is going to cause a conflict. So um, I'm very into segregated societies and um, being able to choose who you associate with. So yes, I strongly agree with that. Good parents sometimes have to spank their children. No, I would disagree with that. I'm not completely against it, like Stefan Molyneux or someone, but I recognize that there are problems with it and that it's a pretty barbaric thing to do to just have your first reaction to be to beat your kid. So I would say I disagree with that. Or actually, yeah, yeah, okay. It's natural for children to keep some secrets from their parents. Yes, parents don't need to know everything, but there should be a level of honesty between the two, but it shouldn't have to be complete. There are some things that the parents don't need to know. The parents don't need to know everything about the kid's life. Possessing marijuana for personal use should be a criminal offense. Um... Well, the position that I've always took on this is it's not a problem if you do it yourself. The problem is when you do it out in public or other people find out about it and then it influences them in negative ways or if you promote it or whatever. So I would say I agree with that. It shouldn't be a criminal offense to use marijuana, but it should be a criminal offense if you take it out in the public or someone else sees you doing it or you promote marijuana use. That's when it becomes a problem because you're influencing other people b beside yourself. If you want to harm your own life, and that's fine with me, but you shouldn't be allowed in any society to harm other people's lives indirectly. The prime function of schooling should be to equip future generations to find jobs. Yes, I strongly agree. And even more so, I want to reform, I would want to reform education back to more like what it used to be so that not everyone had to go to school for eight years or for 12 years or whatever and basically you could only do what you needed to do like if your dad owned some huge company well maybe you don't need to go to school some formal public school all this time maybe you can just go learn to be a welder or something and work for him for the rest of your life and then take over once he dies or something so yes i would strongly agree that that should be the rule and we should continue to reform it so it reflects that role more. People with serious inheritable disabilities should not be allowed to reproduce. Yes, I strongly agree with that. I'm a pretty big fan of eugenics. Not necessarily like violent eugenics, but at least good incentives and in this case, yes, negative eugenics because it, it's just a disaster for society and for the parents and for the child, for everyone involved, basically, to have kids with these disabilities being born into the world. So, yeah. The most important thing for children is to learn to accept discipline. No, I don't. I don't agree that that's the most important thing. It's not the least important thing either. It just... It is an important thing, it's not the least or most important, so yes, I'll say I disagree with that, but not strongly. There are no savage and civilized people, only different cultures. No, I strongly disagree with that. And it's not just the cultures that are different, it's the genetics behind the people. But yeah, there are savage cultures and there are savage people. Usually the savage people produce savage cultures. Those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should not expect society's report. Yes, I strongly agree with that. 
And I don't think anyone should expect society's support either way. They should expect maybe their community or their church to help them. They shouldn't expect the state to come in and use tax money to help people out. When you are troubled, it's better to not think about it, but keep it. No. I know that that's a big fascist thing, but no, I disagree with that. You should confront your problems head on rather than just putting them off. First generation immigrants can never be fully immigrated integrated to the new country. Well, yeah, I agree with that, but I also agree that second and third and fourth and fifth generation immigrants of different ethnicities can't be integrated into the society. You're not going to take a Somalian and make them the same, make them integrated into British society on average. So, yeah, I would agree with that, but this doesn't take it far enough, perhaps. What's good for the most successful corporations ultimately is good for all of us. No, obviously I disagree with that. Especially in today's society. Well, corporation is basically an extension of the state. They're created by the state. And this basically means that they're almost always corrupt and doing shady things. So no, I, I would say that pretty much what's good for corporations in particular is pretty much usually bad for society. What's good for companies in the free market, yeah, that's probably, that's good for society, but what's good for corporations, a state-created entity, no, I strongly disagree with that. No broadcasting institution, however independent in its content, should receive public funding. I agree, especially in the current situation, about not completely a no, I'm going to say I disagree, because I'm opposed to it in the current... I don't want anything to receive public funding in the current system where we know what the content is going to be. But in a perfect world, maybe there could be a public-funded Catholic thing or something like that, and that would be fine with me. Or something about, like, loving your race or something. That would be great. So, no, I don't think that that's a good principle, but I think it's a good pragmatic thing that, yeah... No one should receive public funding now, but in the future, we're not really sure. S our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. Yes, I agree. A significant advantage of a one-party state is it avoids all the arguments. Well, yeah, I mean, that's common sense. Obviously, whether it's a good idea, which I think it is, but... I think it's a good idea, but, and either way, even if I didn't think it was a good idea, I would still pick, I strongly agree, because that's just a common sense thing, I don't know how you could pick anything else. Although the electronic age makes official, makes official surveillance easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. No, you shouldn't, I don't like the idea of the state spying on people either way. Because who knows if they're going to go corrupt and how they're going to use that information. There's no reason to do it, basically. There's no benefit in a in an ethno-state, in a white ethno-state. There's no white ethno-state Catholic country or whatever. There's no benefit to doing it. There's not going to be any terrorism anyway. And you're bas so you're basically just making innocent people victims. But it's interesting because in the current system, maybe you could spy on... Muslims or something, I'd be perfectly fine with that, but I don't think that in an idyllic world it'd be anything we need. The death penalty should be an option for most serious crimes. Yes, I strongly agree. In a civilized society, one person or one must always have people above it, above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. Yes, I agree. Hierarchy is the foundation of any sane society. Abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art at all. Yes, I strongly agree with that. In the criminal justice, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. Yes, I agree, because it sets a good example for the rest of society. That's most of the reason anyway. I could go in more detail, but... It is a waste of time to rehabilitate some criminals. Yes, because of genetics. The idea that we have complete free will and we're all blank slates is obviously a complete lie. Most of our actions are determined already before we're born by genetics, although obviously we do some, still have some free will, but not 
not to the point that you can rehabilitate everybody. The business person or manufacturer more point. Um. No, I would disagree with that because ideas can be way more important than material goods. I don't. I think they they could equally be important, but then I don't think you can make a generalized statement either way. Mothers may have careers, but their first duty is home is to be homemakers. Yes, I agree with that. But I think that's the duty of all people anyway, is to raise a family and contribute to their community more so than just get material wealth. But particularly for mothers because of the genetic differences between males and females, yes. Multinational companies are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resources of development. No. They're helping the third world countries. The ones that they're disadvantaging is the first world. I don't like this communist line that they're exploiting them. They're giving them more opportunities than they previously had. I still oppose it, but just for a completely different reason. Making peace with the establishment's part? No. That's not an aspect of maturity. That there's no reason to make peace with the current establishment. Maybe in an ideal world, yeah, you could say that having a healthy respect for the leaders is good, but... In the current system, no. What is this? Lot? Oh, two more pages. If you got through that, okay, you'll find these propositions on religion of breeze. Astrology accurately explains many things. No, that's nonsense. You can be moral. You cannot be moral without being religious. Um. If I have to choose, I'm going to say I agree, but I really don't. You can be moral without being religious, but religion makes being moral a lot easier. Before, I was a Catholic, and I was baptized a Catholic and raised a Catholic, but there was a time when I wasn't really identifying with it. But I was still in the alt-right or a dissident right, and I had developed my political ideology, so my beliefs were basically that of Catholics without being official member of the religion anymore. So you can definitely develop your morals without being religious, but it just helps so much because of the way. Because people don't usually have the critical thinking ability and the knowledge to accurately surmise morality, so it's more easily spread and obtained through religion. So yes, I do agree with it to a degree. Charity is better than social security as a measure. Yes, obviously. I don't know how you can be a Catholic and, or a Christian of any kind and not say that. And just put that plus my libertarian economic things. And yeah, obviously I agree with that. Some people are naturally unlucky. I know that this is like a Marxist line usually, but yes, yeah, some people are naturally unlucky because of genetics usually. When Marxists say it's because, oh, they're born into a bad environment. Yeah, that is true. Environment does affect things. But also because of their genetics, it's it, it limits their ability anyway. And not everyone's dealt a fair hand. So yeah, I agree with that. It is important that my child's school, yes, that is important. I don't go to a Catholic school, but if I ever had, but if I have kids, which I plan on doing, yeah, I would want them to have go to a religious school because other why would I not want them to? Why would I not want them to adopt my religious beliefs that are foundational to my political beliefs too? So yeah, I obviously I strongly agree. Sex outside marriage is usually immoral. Yes, I agree. And the reason is because it marriage is basically well, in the current institution I don't really care because They've already given gay marriage. They've already given marriage to gays, sodomites, whatever you want to call them. So being married is basically going down to the same level as a sodomite nowadays. But if we're talking about morality, marriage just symbolizes a committed relationship where you're going to give the child a proper environment, more resources, and all that. So yes, I do agree with that strongly, but there are exceptions, like the current situation, but overall, 
I think what's important is a committed relationship. Otherwise, you're just disadvantaging your kid when you have have sex, which is obviously obviously having sex. One of the results that's most likely is having it is getting pregnant. So if you're taking that risk to not give your kid the best environment, that is immoral, in my opinion. A same sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. No. Sodomites are what? 1.5% of the population and 40-50% of the child molestations. They don't give a good family role model to the kids. No, it's absolutely disgusting that anyone would allow that at all. Pornography depicting consenting adults should be legal for the adult population. Yes, it should be, but the condition for it should be that it, there should be regulations on it. It shouldn't just be that you can produce any fucked up thing you want. It should, it should just be depicting normal, loving, heterosexual relationships, and that's it. So porn isn't necessarily a problem. The porn that we have now is definitely a problem. What goes on in a private bedroom between two consenting adults is none of the state's business. Yes, that is my position, actually. I Sodomites absolutely disgust me and they're immoral pigs and whatever else you want to say, but I don't think that they should be killed just for being gay as long as they keep it private and no one knows about it. But as soon as they go public with it and start trying to promote things, then yeah, that's when they should be punished. So yes, I agree with that. No one can feel naturally homosexual. No, I disagree with that because there are genetic causes for homosexuality. Like, I think it's something like if a mother has a boy and then has more boy children after that, they're more likely to be gay each time. So there are some genetic causes, but most of it's environmental. So I, I'm going to say disagree, but not strongly disagree, because there are there is a gay genetic population, but there's also populations of gays that isn't based on genetics. The openness about sex has gone too far. Yes, absolutely. It's absolutely degenerate what they have on TV these days, and the way that you hear people talking about having one night stands and all this stuff. Okay, now let's see where I stand. Okay, so this is just the ranking thing. This is just the example. Hmm. They, they don't even put Hitler on the left. It's kind of interesting. I thought it would be at least like over here somewhere, but... Okay. Huh. Wow. That's surprisingly centrist. I thought I was going to end up somewhere way up here. Can't believe they put me towards the center so much. Only three over on the X and two up on the Y. I'm about as far right as you can go on economics and most people would consider me completely fascist on social issues so I don't know how I got so centrist. Maybe because I answered the question with way more the questions with like way more nuance than this test was made to have or something. Huh. It's very strange. I thought it was gonna be a lot different, but Well, there you have it. My political compass test. A little bit strange where I got placed. But um it's a fun test, I guess. So yeah.